Hey everyone, welcome to technique session number four. Now for today's class, you're gonna to need to get uh, hopefully something set up like this. I just have these little post-it notes against the wall. Um, and I just have kind of a, a, you know, a top one, a right, a left, and a bottom one. Um, not too high, you know, it's a little bit below chest level for the highest one. Um, ask your parents if it's okay if you do this. We are gonna be kicking these targets very lightly, just more tapping them. So if your parents don't want you doing this, you know, we may just have to use our imagination and imagine we're kicking those targets or come up with something that's not on the wall. Okay guys, take a few minutes, get that set up, come back and we'll get started with today's class. So I want you guys to start at the wall. Okay, we're gonna be doing a, a little warm up here. It's gonna get our hips loosened up. Um, so we're gonna chamber our leg basically for a roundhouse kick. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna lower uh, raise and lower our chamber, keeping that leg tight the whole time. Okay, and this is going to loosen up the hips and it's going to work on all these muscles here um, that help us with those kicks. So let's go ahead and start doing these. We'll do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, guys, switch legs. And again, tuck that leg in nice and tight chamber. And one, two. Notice I'm not dropping all the way down like this. Three, just about halfway. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, guys, so you should know how to do that now. I want you to go ahead and pause, do three more sets of ten on each leg. Okay, come back for the next exercise. So we're gonna stay at the wall for a little bit more here. Now we're gonna do what's called a side stretch kick, okay? So we're gonna make that leg straight, raise that leg up, and then bring it back down. We're actually gonna bring it all the way down, okay? So we're gonna raise that leg up sideways. Just like in class, we do a normal front stretch kick. We're doing the same thing just for those muscles on the side here. So again, we wanna raise up and down. Let's do our first set together. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 on each leg. Ready, one. Two, now look how I'm trying to keep my eyes forward here. It's okay if you turn a little bit, you don't have to be totally forwards, but as long as you can see out of one of your eyes, you can see forwards, that's, that's what you wanna do. Three, four, make sure you're breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, and switch legs. Okay, ready? And one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, guys, so you're gonna hit pause. Just do two more sets on each leg, um, and then come back. We're gonna move on to our drill using the, uh, the, the paper on the wall. Okay, get going. So a large part of having good technique is having very precise, controlled movements, okay? Your techniques go exactly where you want them, exactly where they was planned, um, you know, not all over the place, okay? So we're gonna be aiming some very slow kicks at these targets, um, and uh, you know, emphasis on very slow. I don't want you guys to put the hole in the wall, and then your parents ask, why did you do that? And you say, oh, Master Penner told me to. No, hit very soft, we just, we just tapping very lightly each of these targets, okay? So let's start with the front kick. Now, it doesn't matter which target you go for. Just kind of go randomly. So I want to chamber, ch tap, and return. Again, chamber, chamber, tap, return. Chamber, tap, return. Chamber, tap, return. And notice how I'm hitting with the ball of the foot on these kicks, okay? Um, so after you do uh, uh, kicks for a little bit on one leg, switch and then do the other leg. Again, chamber, tap, return. Again, chamber, tap, return. And just change up where you're aiming to. Um, so I want you guys to hit pause right now. Practice that for just about two to three minutes, okay? And then come back, I got another variation on this for you guys, okay? Get going. So now we have to do that same drill, but you're not allowed to put your leg down, okay? So chamber one of your legs, 
You're gonna bring that leg up and you're basically gonna tap, return. Tap, return. Okay, tap, return. Tap, okay, tap. And you're just tapping that. Notice how I'm keeping that leg chambered high the whole time. And again, you know, do it for maybe 20, 30 seconds on one leg and then switch legs um, and then do the other leg. Okay, so again, we're gonna do this side here. We're gonna get our balance. We're gonna kick, return. Kick, return. Kick, and I'm really focusing on putting just the ball of my foot on that target. Okay, just like we're talking about with good technique. You have to be precise. And if your foot isn't hitting right on that, that target, um, you know, your kick isn't gonna be as effective. Even if your foot misses by a little bit, I'm only catching with one toe, that means only one toe is hitting that target. That's probably gonna hit my, hurt my foot more than it's gonna hurt that person, okay? Or my foot's gonna slip off, which is gonna put me in a, you know, a bad position if I was far on that person, okay? So again, work on being really precise. Only the ball of the foot touches. You can see I'm basically covering up that paper with the ball of my foot. Okay, I'm not over here. Um, even though I touch the paper, you know, I only touch it with one toe. That's not good enough. Okay, guys. So um, keeping the knee chambered. Practice another two to three minutes with uh, with the keeping the leg chambered drill. Okay, good. get started. Let's do the same drill, but now with side kicks, okay? So instead of hitting with the ball of the foot, we're gonna be putting our heel right on that target. Okay, imagine there's like a little bullseye in there, and you have to hit that center with that heel, okay? If you're hitting, you know, with your toes off to the side again, that's not gonna be very effective. So this one we're gonna do um, by putting our leg down. We'll do the easy version first, okay? And just chamber, tap lightly. Oh, and you can see how I kind of missed that one. I was a little bit off on that one. I gotta work on my aim. Again, chamber and kick. And the reason we have these targets in different directions, uh, different places is, you know, your opponent isn't always gonna be right in front of you. Sometimes they move a little bit one direction and you have to be able to make those adjustments. Okay, so again, chamber. Let me go for the high one this time. Ooh, even that one I was a little bit off on. I gotta work on my aim. Chamber, kick. Okay, and after you do, you know, a few kicks on one leg, switch to the other leg. Okay, and again, slow. Chamber, kick. Okay, got that one with the heel. And chamber, kick. So, you gotta go real slow on these ones um, to get that, that, those precise uh, movements. Um, so you notice I'm not going very fast. Okay guys, so your turn to practice. Practice two to three minutes. Again, every few kicks, switch legs. Come back for the next uh, version in a minute after you practice. Okay, get going. So I bet you guys can guess what we're gonna do next. Okay, we're doing side kicks, keeping our leg chambered, no putting it down. Okay, so we're gonna keep that leg chambered. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna tap lightly and come back. And tap lightly and back. And again, I'm just barely tapping that wall. I'm not blasting the wall, okay? No holes in the wall, okay? Especially if you have like thin walls. Okay, so again, after you do one leg for, for a little bit, switch legs, do the other leg. Okay, and again, chamber, you wanna tap. Oh, I missed that one badly. Tap, and down, tap, and down. This is gonna make your kicks, uh, your, your technique so much better. It's gonna really improve with your precision, your aim. Okay guys, so this is uh, uh, keeping our leg chambered, no putting it down, side kicks. Okay, hit pause, practice for two to three minutes. Okay, get going. So we're gonna head back to the wall for our next drill, okay? And uh, this drill is gonna work on developing all those stabilizing muscles in your leg and give you a really strong kick, okay? Um, now when we're doing a kick to have good technique, to have good precision, you gotta have control over all those muscles, okay? Um, if you don't have control over those muscles, your, your leg tends to go wherever it wants, you know, and that's when you start missing your target. Hey, think about like a newborn kid. Have you ever seen a newborn newborn baby try to, when they're starting to try to go ahead and walk, 
You know, if they don't have much control, they're kind of wobbly, that's because they don't have the muscle control, okay? They can't put their foot, um, they, they don't have good coordination. Um, and that's when you first begin martial arts. Um, that's where a lot of people are at in their martial arts terms, is you know, they're kind of like, a, like a, a newborn baby trying to walk. So we have to strengthen those legs to have control so we're no longer that newborn baby, okay? So the kick we're gonna do is called the hook round lift. If you don't know what a hook kick is, I'm gonna show you guys real fast. It's kind of like a side kick, except you're going out and across. Think about you're trying to slap somebody with the bottom of your foot, okay? So again, I'm gonna chamber hook kick by coming across. Let me show you guys one more time. I realize some of my, my younger students may have never learned a hook kick, but I know you guys can figure this out pretty quickly, okay? So I'm gonna chamber hook kick. Now once I've done the chamber, or the, the hook kick, Okay, I'm in a perfect position for a roundhouse. So I'm gonna roundhouse and hold my leg. I'm gonna lower and lift. Then I'm gonna chamber. Hook kick, round hold, lift. Okay, look how I don't put my foot down. Chamber, hook, round and hold that leg. Lift, I know you guys are used to re-chambering roundhouse kicks. We're actually not re-chambering that round. Again, chamber, hook, round hold, lift, okay? So every time you do hook, round, lift, that counts as one, okay? So let me show you guys the other side here real quick. And again, when you start with that chamber, that leg is gonna come out and across like you're slapping somebody with the bottom of your foot. So we're gonna go hook, look how that knee is forwards, round, hold, lift, re-chamber. Again, hook, round, hold, lift. Okay, that counts as one. Again, chamber, hook, round, lift. Okay, guys, so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go ahead and hit pause. You're gonna do three sets of 10 on each leg, okay? Uh, like I said, these, these are gonna give you a lot of muscle stability, a lot of muscle control. It's gonna help your technique, it's gonna help your precision with all your kicks. Okay, hit pause, get going, three rounds of 10.